How you doing, Dirty? Back with you. As we continue our Let's Play and let's look at, at the uh, Alpha of Oxygen Not Included. Glad to have you along. So, uh, where were we last time? Well, we got a bit of a water issue, a bit of an H2O problem. Um, water is down here. We don't have water kind of anywhere near our colonists. And we need water to run a whole bunch of stuff. So, um... Hopefully our guys are going to dig through here and actually get at this water and then we're going to take a look at Some of the piping mechanics. We haven't played around with that before So uh, that's what we're going to take a, a whack at this time. So let's uh, get things underway and Again, I'm really really hoping that our guys will come down here dig this out and uh, Hopefully harvest some water because we need it to run the deoxidizers the yeah, the deoxidizers, we need it for our terrariums, we need it for research, uh, we also need it for our micro musher. So, water is, uh, well, well, they say what, uh, you can survive three days without water. I don't know if uh, our little colonists here can actually survive three days without water. I'm not willing to put that to the test, so we, the sooner we get to our water source, the better. I mean, I could, alternatively, I could try to dig down here that might be faster actually and just build a ladder i'll see how are we doing for oxygen because we did have a bit of a carbon monoxide carbon dioxide issue here it looks like we're okay though now it looks like this oxygen has started to make its way up um of course now since this guy is down here breathing in the oxygen uh we are running into a carbon dioxide problem so we may in fact want a what we want a uh, maybe a terrarium down here so we don't have to power it looks like our biggest issue is about right here so maybe we'll build one of those so now finally they got some water again they can start making some food they can power their terrariums um, yeah the the air is not great in certain areas all right so uh, yeah that's uh, that's kind of our big thing. So, we do have the water here. How do we pipe that up? How do we make that kind of closer to where we're working? Let's have a look now. So, we want to look at uh, plumbing. All right. So, we want to build a liquid pump. How do we build this? Uh, we need to... Liquid flows from the output via the intake pipe. Okay. So, I guess we need to have this, like, right here. The intake is there, so do we have to build it underwater? Is that how this works? Or do we have to build a pipe? Okay, let, let's just try building it here. Alright, and then we get a pipe that runs from here down here. Will they actually be able to run the pipe down there, though? That's kind of the other question. And then we want the output or the intake. Uh, maybe the intake has to be underwater? Maybe I'm doing this super wrong. Because I think I just hooked up the output. And we're not going to be intaking anything. Not in liquid. Okay. Uh, deconstruct. That's what happens when uh, you're starting to learn how to play a game. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta learn these things. Alright, so they'll deconstruct that. And they're going to build a whole bunch of pipe that doesn't go anywhere. Be like David Wilcox laying pipe all night long. Uh, all right, some liquid. So can I build it just like floating on top of the water here? Will that work? Doesn't seem like something that should work, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Look at that, throwing out all sorts of nuts and bolts and screws and stuff. That's a uh, one way to build something. Uh, we do have our terrarium down here now, so that should be. Making this area a little bit more breathable. Uh, no work, so it needs electricity, and we need an output. Okay, so electricity. I may have to actually build another generator because we are sucking through our battery quickly overnight, and that means our some of our oxidizers <laughs> aren't working overnight. So uh, that may cause issues. So we have electricity running to here. So we want it to run all the way over that's right I gotta drag this where's the electrical output for this let's try building it there 
Or am I? Ah, crap, I'm building pipe, aren't I? Okay, never mind. Uh, that, uh, can I build electrical wire over it? Looks like it can. Looks like you can run piping and electrical in the same spot. Neat. Alright, well, so we'll do it like that. Well, we actually do need a pipe running up, so perhaps this isn't a completely terrible thing, except for the kind of inefficient bend in the pipe that I have here. Uh, we're doing okay for metal. We're doing okay for minerals, I believe. It's just the fact that we didn't have any water for a while. I think that was setting us back. Research station. Um, all right, so we can do research here on this. Also, we need more energy. No research task selected for here, so we want... What's the next thing that we want? Bricolation? Produces a steady supply of oxygen when piped, using piped in water. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Okay. So we'll see if we can get this kind of piping situation figured out first before we do anything too drastic. So they're building the copper wire down here now. Um, there are oxygen sources, so everybody should be able to breathe for the, for, for the most part. I wonder if I should build like a terrarium down here to capture this carbon dioxide. Would that help? I mean, we seem to have plenty of breathable gas up here. How's our... We're still at a net negative for oxygen production. I wonder. I wonder, 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 wonder. Okay, so this now has electricity. These guys are still having to come down here and hold their breath to get water. Uh, okay, so... Not pumping. So we have to have an output, I guess. So let's take a look at the plumbing now. Uh, lit vent <coughs> gas pipe. Liquid pipe bridge. Draws in liquid and brings it to the pipe. So can I... Is there like an out pipe? Liquid vent? An output point, okay. So, let's see if we can make, like, a well here that they can they can draw water from. Um, so let's, yeah, let's give that a shot. So, this is probably not the way you're supposed to do this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Regardless, I am a daring man. Tales of Daring Do. Okay. So we're gonna do that, and then we want the pipe. Where's our pipe? Laying pipe all night long, satisfy that woman. All right, so the pipe probably the pipes like the electrical wire. Then I mean, it has to go through like an open space. So then we're gonna go around here and down, and then we're going to vent here. And then they won't have so far to go for the water? Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. Does it make sense to anybody else, I wonder? Um, okay, so they're still building parts of this pipe. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Speaking of research, what research do we have done now? We have fine dining is not done. And that's not done. Okay, so we need both the lower end and the higher end. And research. How come we didn't finish interior decor? Do you guys like not like fancy furniture or anything like that? I'm really curious to see if this is going to work. Because I'd rather not have to have these guys go so far for the water. Especially if I have to continue generating oxygen down here for like a little bit of space. Yes, you're hungry, I understand. And uh, are we taking out anywhere else right now? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're basically just waiting for this pipe construction to go on, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Still lots of carbon dioxide around this area, so I think having these terrariums there is a good plan. Sounds like someone's asleep. Yeah, that's our narcoleptic guy. Mystique! Definitely nothing like the uh, Mystique from the X-Men series. It was, uh, well, originally was kind of a femme fatale, and... It's now a, almost a hero type thing in the, the newer type X-Men movies. Speaking of X-Men movies, haven't seen Logan yet. Really looking forward to it. And have you seen the pictures? 
a Patrick Stewart with the pit bull because if that isn't the most adorable thing on the internet, I don't know what is. It's uh, it's awesome. Look at look at his Twitter. You got a dog licking Patrick Stewart's bald head while he's he's swimming. That is poetry right there, my friends. Why aren't you building this ladder? That would make more sense if you built that ladder. Somehow you squeeze through this hole, anyway. Liquid vent. Okay, so there's still one more piece of pipe that has to get finished. Uh, we're not doing great for raw minerals right now, so we may need to mine out a little bit more. Let's, uh, let's dig up this algae and let's dig kind of this way. Uh, it's going to be a larger area, so... Yeah, we're having a bit of a, an oxygen issue up in our bedroom, so we'll have to address that at some point. Alright, so we have piping. There we go, look, look, it's, it's filling up with water. Good. Good. Um, I don't know if we'll have to move the pipe. I guess you could probably build this underwater and then run the pipe to it. Doesn't have enough electricity, okay. So, our single generator is not doing it for us right now. So what else can we do? We can do a battery, hydrogen generator. We're not that fancy yet. So we're probably going to want another standard generator. We'll build that here. And we're going to need some wiring. We'll hook this up to our battery as well. And we're getting to the point now where we may want another person. So we're netting minus 22, no, that's today's cycle. We're netting minus 39 kilograms over the course of a day for oxygen. I don't think that's too bad. It doesn't seem like we're going to die of oxygen deprivation anytime soon. Yeah, now they're going here for the water. That's, that's more efficient. I'm glad this is working out. We have a whole bunch of needless pipe here, so let's deconstruct that because there's no need for us to waste minerals if we don't have to. Cool. I still have this ugly bend in the pipe, but... Uh, just going for artistic flair for that. Okay, so that's being pumped up. Excellent. So yeah, we do have a nice little well here now. Well, well, well. Three holes in the ground. Cool. I like it when the plan comes together. Uh, we're going to want to continue to dig this. Dig it. Can you dig it? Now, that that has been taken care of. Now that, that has been taken care of. Um... Let's take a look at our food. We have a planter box. Plants a single plant. House is a single plant, so it'll produce food or medicines. Well, uh, let's try building some of those and see if we can get some farming going on. Uh, so we have mealwood seeds. Let's plant that. We have a blossom seed. Produces an edible bud. Who doesn't love an edible bud? And we'll produce another meal wood right there. Hopefully conditions are fine. Uh, it's barely barely breathable over here. Do, I'm, I'm guessing the plants produce oxygen. They should. They're stifled. Because why? Because it's too warm? How warm is it here? It's 27 degrees. And you guys are stifled. So how do I cool you down is the question. Is it because the atmospheric pressure is too large? I gotta try something. Let's try sealing off our little farming area. See what happens. So build a tile here and we're gonna build a pressurized door here. So this is gonna be a room all to itself and it's gonna be barely breathable inside that room but I'm hoping it's going to be more favorable for the plants, at least for a while. Still stifled, hey? Yeah, as soon as they get to this phase, they become stifled. So there's something that I'm missing. Carbon dioxide is 25 degrees. The oxygen continues to drop. But again, I'm wondering if we start making the plants, they start growing. Uh, will they actually start producing oxygen? You would think, right? If you're growing plants, then they will start producing oxygen. Okay, so the pump has no power. It's still connected to water for now. 
but I'm probably going to need this actually at the bottom of our well here. Okay. So we're actually going to deconstruct that and oxygen, food, we want plumbing, we want a pipe right here, and we're going to need that to be powered. Is there an issue with running electrical wire under water? Maybe. Power, electrical wire. We need you to run over there. And hopefully we can do it from this little ledge. Looks like we can build it okay. So you now have to finish building the pipes and the wires, picking up the copper. Actually, we should mine this little bit of copper because we can. No, that's harvest. Same idea. Copper ore, copper ore. Okay, so it's powered. No liquid output. Okay, so we need to make sure it's connected to the rest of the piping system. Ah, food, plumbing, liquid pipe. Okay, so we do have pipes running, but it's just gotta be built. Okay. Is this guy's coming down? Is he gonna build it? No. They may be kind of diverted with power generation right now. Are you having uh, breathing issues, my friend? Interrupted sleep. So let me go here. We still have lots of oxygen here. Not so much here. How are our plants doing? These plants seem to be doing okay. The mealwood seems to be fine for now. It's 26 degrees. The temperature's still dropping. Okay, so that plan kind of worked out. Maybe I have to change the type of seed and change that to mealwood. So let's try that as well. Plants. Plant. Mealwood seed plant. There we go. Dude, you don't have to stay in there, you know. You could you could go somewhere else. Or you could just, like, stay in there and um, suffocate. It's up to you. I mean, it's only these couple of tiny plants that are trying to help you out. Now it's too warm again? It's probably because you were in there with your body heat messing everything up. Uh, so why aren't we building down here now? Why do we have two sets of buttons? No, that's the electrical wire. You're missing... Algae. Okay. Well, we can dig this algae without any problems. There we go. Is there like a, something that actually produces algae? Because we could uh, we could use something like that. Compost. What does that do? Come. No, that's a medical cot. Massage table. Floor lamp. Reduces stress by providing light. Well, stress is pretty high right now, actually. Let's uh, let's pop in a floor lamp. We seem to spend a lot of time in this area. Maybe there. Of course, we run out of power overnight because we haven't generated enough power. This poor battery probably doesn't have the capacity to keep us going for the entire time. All right, so you're running, you're running. You guys are making food. You are making sure that the old uh, outhouse is in working order. That's good. An important job, no doubt. You're picking up dirt to turn into food. Also an important job. These things are making oxygen. That dude's doing research. Uh, I think the plants get so far, and then they're done. Growing 30%. They need fertilizer, okay. So where was that? Station, medicine, refinement, compost? Seems like compost would be something that goes like down in our little pit there. Seems like that's where all the affluent should be. That's kind of our affluent pit. Our human runoff. Thing else seems okay for now. We're done. Our research? Percolation is done, so we can now turn... Convert slime into algae. Where do we get slime? Convert sand. Use the sand for purifying water. Okay, that's... Advanced filtration. Filters carbon dioxide, removes it from the air. Serves... Uh, Sieves one type of gas out from a mixed composition. 
Liquid filter can take one liquid out of another. Mesh tile, rejuvenator, insulation. Uh, pressure management, gas valve, liquid valve. Mechanized airlock, keeps the air pressure. Hydro fan, thermal regulator, outputs heat and dissipates heat. We'll need that for our plants, I guess. We have fine dining done, so we now have a cooking station, a fertilizer maker, contaminated water to produce fertilizer, and we have a refrigerator. Okay, so we have a cooking station. Converts two mush bars into a deep fried mush bar. I think I had that at a bar once. Um, I'm starting to run out of space, too. I think we're going to need another. We're going to need another Timmy. Uh, we're going to need another duplicate. I think we're at that point. Um, you're good at a lot of stuff. You can't dig. And you're dimensionally inept. Cannot build. You're good at digging and learning. You have to pee a lot. You are a yoko. means you can't research. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon the sneeze. Uh, you are an early bird. First day adds plus two dollars. You're creative, you're learning, you have pretty good strength. You're probably the least harmful. Stress response destructive. Yeah, we're gonna print Meep here. Alright. Go for it, Meep. I believe in you. You are the person that we need right now. So food. Let's see here. We can now build. We can't build the cooking station. Requires fine dining research. I thought we were done that. Or are we still working on it here? Research, 3 out of 10. Okay, so we are still working on that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, hoping we'll finish up with what we have to do here. Did I not put in the deconstruct order? I guess I didn't. No wonder they weren't doing anything else here. So they'll deconstruct that, and then they should finish off the piping here. I may have to dig down a little. Looks like it, actually. Let's dig down, make a little step here. Alright, so yeah, now they should be able to reach everything. There we go. That was the issue. They couldn't reach it. We're pumping now. Insufficient resources. Obsidian? Why do we need obsidian? We're pumping anyway, so it doesn't matter. We have like the most inefficient mm. pump on the go here. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, we now have uh, we now have our well back in operation, so I am uh, I'm okay with that. We're going to need another cot for our new dude. Uh, looks like these plants are growing okay. I'm not sure what the issue is with this one. Apparently, it's the fertilizer, and our compost is on the go. Requires flipping. Can we actually get down there to do the flip? I may have to make a little step, uh, or actually a ladder. Yeah, it's probably a ladder. They might be able to do it from up here, though. All right, so furniture, furniture, furniture. We want a cut. Stress is starting to get up there too. So Hideki, super stressed out right now. Perhaps we shall put in a massage table and we'll let Hideki get a nice little massage and hopefully that will uh, pick him up a little. Alright, so can they actually work this outhouse is the question. And why did we lose this tile? We want a tile here and we want... I'm going to put a ladder down this way, I guess. No, he can climb down and, and flip the compost. He won't be able to breathe while he's down there, but that's fine. Get a little bit of uh, O2, carbon monoxide poisoning. That's never hurt anybody, right? Um, seems to me we should have one of these down here. Because, I mean, that's the prime spot for carbon dioxide, really. Okay, so our pump's working away. That's, that's good. And our well is filling up. Our well runneth over. Excellent. Well, uh, let's see. I think I'm actually going to 
wrap it up here for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying what you're seeing here, uh, think about liking the video and think about subscribing to the channel. Plenty more to come. Thanks for stopping by. Have a terrific day.